Well, you were at the Kobe uh, Memorial. Yeah. Number one, what was the vibe like in that place? I said to Lisa Leslie, I said, I told her, you handled yourself very, very well. She told me she loved living in Orlando. She was like, yo, night and day, uh, the money you save. She said, my bank account is loving living <laughs> in Orlando. And I said to her, just like Kobe to get us all to come here, because he wanted us here. She said, only you would think about it that way. I was like, yeah, it was like, I want this. This is the way we're going to get it. This is how we're going to go. Put it on his back. Um, I got to meet Michael Phelps and his wife and his kid. I had to see people I hadn't seen in a long time, you know, like at a funeral. But nobody was trying to ball. Nobody was trying to. Everybody was feeling this Kobe energy. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. So Michael Jordan spoke at Kobe's memorial. I was so proud. Yeah. And uh, as he's crying and he said, uh, I said I wouldn't cry, but here I am. And now there's going to be another Jordan crying meme for the next six months because of this. And, and everyone laughed. Right. And it was just such a beautiful moment to, to crack a joke at a funeral yeah. that didn't disrespect the person who you're talking about and, and everyone related to because everyone's seen the Jordan crying meme. Right. And it was just so dope. It was dope. It was- as, as someone that, you know, is the most... Co- closely compared person to Jordan. Kobe. Correct. And the two of them have gone at it on the court before. Right. They were not best friends. I and don't on know. the phone. <laughs> and then on the phone. And yeah. the, the crazy... Because yeah, the two of them, did they ever... I mean, I don't know if you know this or not, but did the two of them ever maintain a relationship at all? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So Michael was telling the truth. Kobe will call. Okay. Right? I told you during the, um, during the trial stuff, I would get calls... And I would stop what I was doing. I'd go outside and I was like, this is really cold on the phone. And talking about just ain't nothing about the case. It's, man, did you see such and such show? Or such and such killing it, bro. This guy goes like, you know, talking. Scotty Pippen talked about it. He called Scotty Pippen too. Scotty Pippen was there as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but to see Michael get up on stage, I said this when he went, when he was at the Hall of Fame. And he did a speech, and everybody thought he was mean and vengeful, and they just don't understand his comedy. And to see him speak, where he didn't do that a lot before, and speak from the heart, was was a great, great thing. You know, Michael and I have always had a great relationship, and I always said, "Man, and Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan, I'm like, well, who best?" I was like, "Man, Kobe Bryant." I would say that. <laughs> You would tell Michael Jordan that Kobe's better than him. Yo, 20, and, 27, he was killing you. Dog, you, he, you would have gave you 70. You know, just just because I'm talking to the, to the greatest. But what would Michael say when you tell him that? Oh, Sal, there you go with this. You always starting some shit. I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> you can't go left. The kid can go left. He can do this. His jump shot is better. You know, just, just to mess with Michael. You know what I'm saying? I... I would I would hate to see them both at 27 years old, but we couldn't have because Kobe would not have become Kobe without a 27 year old Michael Jordan. Facts. So it it you can't go back in time. Butterfly effect. You go back in time, you destroy everything. But, yeah. But but just messing with Michael and saying it and getting knowing because you know, like I said, I've learned this business. Minister Farrakhan said it. This. Media is about sound bites. Mm-hmm. So if I give you a sound bite on a sports show, you know if you get one sound bite on a sports show, it's five days of 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 a, of a show. I mean, Vlad TV interviews are a bunch of sound bites, a bunch of day sound after bites. day after day. You've been on the show yes. enough times, and I like I like the way you I like the two minutes thirty seconds you're doing now. Yeah. I'm just telling you, I like those because I can get through so many people. Yep. and I turn around and I'm on my second cigar. Filling my third bowl, uh, watching two hours of your show. Right. And I'm like, I didn't even know that guy. Oh, that, then let me check him out. Yeah. So, yes. But those sound bites, I, I got on Cowherd and I said, they said, Michael Jordan, the greatest player of all time. So, well, who's your top five? And I mentioned my five and he wasn't in it. The sound bite came, John Sally doesn't put Michael Jordan in his top mm-hmm. five. No, I put him in my five when I was watching and wasn't competing that I watched. 
I talked about how great Jerry West was and Oscar Robinson. Well, you won't see. They don't even play those games anymore. Isaiah is working on NBA TV just to show you more Piston games. It's just that's another targeted thing, the games that they have and the games that they, they, they want to let you see. If you watch Jerry West, you'd be like, this kid is amazing. So I said that. So it's sound bites. I'm, I'm a huge Kobe fan, but when I, you know, I can talk to Michael like that. I can mess with him. He knows that I, inside, know I would pick him if we had to pick. If we had to pick right now, and you say, "All right, start your team, pick anybody you want," I would say MJ, Kobe. That's exactly how my voice would go, and exactly <laughs> the order it would go in. Period. Well, Shaq spoke as well. Yeah. And uh, he told one of his stories. He said, uh, he told Kobe, hey, there's no I in team. And Kobe said, yeah, but there's an M-E in team. <laughs> there's an M-E in that mother. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the cool part also, when I watch Big get up there, and I love what Big is doing in the media and what he's doing um, with his career after. But everybody that spoke, man, I mean, they they... He touched, and you wouldn't even know until you saw that, how he would call a coach of Connecticut, how he would be around Diane uh, Tarasi. And, and, and she, you know, she started on Best Man with us. Like, we knew she was the bomb way back. So it's just knowing all these people that he touched. And, you know, you're looking at him, you're talking to him, and people are in admiration, and he's asking you questions. Mm-hmm. So I think that was cool that everyone realized he was learning and learning and learning. What it is, in, what it is, uh, investment company worth two billion dollars now? Oh yeah, no, Shaq is the shit. And uh, Shaq, you promised me an interview. Like I'm waiting for this interview. Shaq, come do this. Come, Shaq, come, come Shaq do this, on Shaq. this show. Come on now. You need three hours. He's okay. gonna give you three me, hours. Me and Shaq go back. Like yeah. like, I did the mixtape where he dissed Kobe back in the day. Like. <laughs> Like he, I have the DMs where he's like, "No, I got you. We're going to do the interview. Just go through me. I, don't go through an assistant. I got you." And we Especially, still right, now. Especially right, right now, hit him right now. You hit him right now. We need it right now. Especially with the investment advice that he's going to give. You like, should you do know, it at your house. He lives three six miles from me. Oh, he lives near Calabasas. He, yeah, okay. He lives six miles from me. Okay. <laughs> you know, and it's like it annoys me because he's like, as we're talking about doing the interview, he goes and does the Wall Street Journal, and I'm like, "Oh, come on, Shaq." Come on, I, I know I know you're trying to get this look with the Wall Street Journal, but come on, if you're trying to reach the people who look like you when you were, you know, like the kids. You know what he's gonna say to that? Would you try to say people that look like me don't read the Wall Street Journal? <laughs> See, I, I already shacked it for you. <laughs> you shacked it for me? Well, let me tell you something, Shaq. If you want to reach, if you want to meet all the people that your kids associate with, right? 